on my here. Hey, y'all in 4 H and H here. Quick opportunity to show you something. Those are my friends Mark and Gene, AE1MS, Mark and AE1JS, Gene. And they're on Watson Mountain. It's a soda mountain that um, has only been activated once before, and that was by myself and my brother. So they're on there now, and they're giving us a complete. Um, it's a, there's some, can be some extenuating circumstances to get to that one. But what I want to show you is, notice the S meter. Let me show you what they sound like with any, without help. Yeah, so what am I doing? IP01. Digital noise reduction at 4. I'll go to 5. There was some QR Mary in there before. So I had it negative 200 shift, 1.5 on the width. Let me turn that down a little bit. Kicked in my micro tune or mu tuner, really. Um, and uh, the pre selector. And then I rotated it. Let me show you. I rotate the QR Mary was one kilohertz away. <laughs> so I rotated it away from the QR Mary and, uh, but just kept them to the point where I could hear them. That's how you use a pre selector. Now, if I was just wrestling with the noise, I would opt for the contour, and my magic number is 1900, it just works so often. And let me show you what I've got my contour set to, negative 15, width 7. Now out of the box it's negative 15 and a width of 10, let me show you. And it's not bad, let me get over here where you can see it, the width of 10 is not bad. It dulls it out a little bit, so if you want to compromise, maybe go down to 9 or 8, or I'll even go to 7. And then what I'll do here is I'll go to negative 20, drive a deep wedge there, but with a more narrow filter. Because contour is a filter. Think of it as a wide notch filter. You know, wide enough to knock out a, a wide range of... Uh, noise that would otherwise make the audio gnarly to listen to. Okay, See, hear how they sound. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Really, the the okay, noise. Let me get out of this. There's 10 with the digital. It'll go up to 15 digital noise reduction. This was the very first transceiver I ever worked with that had digital Thank noise reduction. So that didn't make people sound like they were underwater. Here we are without it. November Echo 4, Tango November. Or any faces? Alpha Echo 1, Mike here. Q4, Delta Alpha Zulu. See, even at a level of 1 or 2, it's effective. I generally run around 3 or 4 all the time and never turn it off. Now, what I want to show you is you can work between noise reduction and contour. So let's say, for example, you don't want to go way up here on the noise reduction, although that is a very good choice, but you want to maybe take a little less of the highs off. So I'm going to go down to three on noise reduction and then kick in the contour. It's like 2100's a magic number there with the with negative 15 and 7. Yeah. I'm going to go back to negative 20. Long press the menu button, so I save that. So see, that's not bad either. Running a lower digital noise reduction and then using contour. Turn off contour, run a more aggressive digital noise reduction. 
November Echo 4, Tango I'm hearing November. that. QR Mary again. So, 1.5K on the width, negative 200 on the shift. And now using the pre-selector, the, the uh, Mew tuner, which you've seen in many of my old videos. It's There's two of them sitting right there. There are actually three available for the radio, and I need to get the third one before Yesu completely quits making it. It's the one for 160 meters. Uh, I do have the one for 80, 40, and 60, which covers 40, 60, 80, and I have the one for uh, 20 and 30 meters. And again, it's controlled right here. Now, those of you with an FTDX 101D or 101MP, you have uh, the same sort of thing, and it's called VC Tune. So, okay, I just thought I would take advantage of that moment there to um, show you a few little tricks here for, you know, remember, don't get hung up on that S meter. I mean, would you rather hear that? Or all of that? Let me leave it on a good note. <laughs> oh, it's just a miracle what radios can do these days. And if you don't have a 5000, that's okay. A lot of the radios have these similar features on them. Not necessarily the pre-selector, although there are some radios out there that have a pre-selector as well. The 7610 has it, the 990S. Uh, the 990S, I believe, tracks the VFO, so it doesn't allow you to do what I did there and actually intentionally move it off center. But, um, but, but like I said, there are some radios that have that. But the digital noise reduction, especially in the AC radios, really, really is a big, big, big help here. And of course, working that noise from the front end, like I've shown you many times on the channel, don't use maximum sensitivity on these bands like this. So we got amplifier one, amplifier two. That's just way too much. It's gonna drag in too much noise and that will degrade your signal to noise ratio. I would be able to pull them in with IPO2. This radio has two levels of IPO. This one literally, is no amplification whatsoever. IPO1 is just a little bit of amplification, but it's optimized, hence the name intercept point optimization. It's optimized for signal to noise ratio. So at the point where it's where the amplification would begin to drag in noise, they, they stop it. But IPO2 literally bypasses any amplification in the front end of the receiver and passes the signal right after the first mixer. It goes directly to the roofing filters. So if I, if I turn off all this, you know, if I turn off the mute tuner, which had me slid off to the side, I can I can even hear them with IPO2. But you hear that noise coming back from the interference. So I'm better off running IPO1 with that variable pre-selector. The 5000 is a fine rig, but the only way to buy one now is if you find one on the used market. Yesu discontinued them last year. But you can do that with an FTDX 101D or a 101MP. As a matter of fact, this only allows the mu tuners for VFOA. VFOB over here runs an internal pre selector called VRF, which is not bad, but it's not at the level of the uh, mu tuner. Those of you with an FTDX 101 MP, you have VC tune, the equivalent of a mutator, in both receivers. So that's one of the advantages you'll have with the 101 MP. Okay, hey, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Um, hey, thanks so much to my Patreon team, the, the Patreon supporters of this channel, for helping me keep this mission going. You help not only me, but you help others who find... Um, this channel to be helpful to them and I just want everybody to you know enjoy your radio to the fullest extent I, I just you know I started this channel because I would hear of people trading into a trading a radio into for another radio and I personally knew that the radio they had before was a better radio but they may not have been getting everything they could out of the radio they had before so uh, that's my goal here is to get you to use features like these in, in, in combination so uh, you can pull these uh, signals out like that. Of course, that's my thing is pulling out weak signals even when there's QR Mary around. So again, thank you so much to those of you who support the channel 
through the Patreon program. I'll put the address here on the screen for those of you who might want to uh, join that team uh, through uh, the Patreon program. It is www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And like I said, it'll be on the screen. I want to mention that, um, and yes, I'm holding the camera in my hand on this one. It was it happened quickly, so I didn't have the steady um, the steady uh, uh, tripod to put it on. But um, also, please, if you would, like the video. That helps us out with YouTube. And then, uh, of course, uh, if you do like the video, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'll click that notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload the next video, which is generally one a week, sometimes two a week. Okay, hey, 73, thanks for watching from N4 H&H.